Yo, what's going on? My name is Miguel, and on this particular channel, I like to talk about all things business, self-development, and reality transurfing, esoteric uh, law of attraction type of stuff on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff and you want to get more videos, definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell because I like to make a lot of videos about all this sort of stuff and I could definitely see you uh, getting some value out of this so at least I would hope so anyways on this particular channel I'm gonna be talking about why I'm a loner and why it's freaking awesome now The word loner or the idea of a loner has this really bad connotation to it because when people think loner they tend to think lonely and the reason for that is because usually the only people talking about this sort of stuff are the very extroverted people who prefer to be outgoing and around a bunch of people a lot of the times. Uh, and all the actual loners and introverted people are all at home taking naps and watching Netflix and building online businesses that doesn't require their much interaction with that many people. For this reason, the loner community is very... Uh, not vocal under um what's the word we're we're there there's not a strong voice for the loner community and i hope to be one of those voices there's another person whose name slips my mind uh but there's not a strong voice in the loner community and i hope and i hope to be one of those people because being a loner is actually pretty awesome and there's a few reasons why i enjoy being a loner and why I feel like you might want to consider it because you might want to as well. So there's a few reasons. I mean, like the, the biggest the biggest thing is that you're just capable of getting so much more done when you aren't spending a lot of time around a lot of people. Now, this might not work. Hold on. Before I even get into all of the reasons why uh, you this t takes uh, blah. before I even get into all the reasons why I prefer to be a loner you have to take into account your own self your own psyche and what it is that you're capable of I am very capable of sitting inside of my house and interacting with a very small amount of people for a few weeks at a time and because of that and it took a while to get to that point, to be perfectly honest, because society tells you that you're supposed to be extroverted, you're supposed to be outgoing, you're supposed to spend time with a bunch of people, you're supposed to be in the club, especially when you're in your 20s. You're supposed to be out partying. These are the party years. What are you doing chilling at home? So with that being the narrative that's out there, naturally you're going to have a lot of times where you're sitting there thinking, damn am i like really missing out like the fomo is strong especially with with instagram and stuff like that like i stopped watching people's stories for this exact reason uh there's there's so much fomo when you go on to instagram stories and you see other people doing stuff you see them partying you see all the 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 girls i mean or guys or whatever it is you're into i don't care um so you see people doing all these amazing things and then and like you were like a couple of seconds ago, you were perfectly fine. You were content. You got one sock on, you and your boxers, uh, a, a, a t-shirt that got stains on it. And you just, you, you watching, you watching a little bit of Netflix and then you check your phone, you look at someone's story and you see someone paragliding uh, while drinking champagne in Hawaii. And you're like, damn, am I missing out on life right now? No, you're, you're not. You just got suckered into that because that's what social media does. So do not fall into the narrative and do not get suckered into what social media does in that regard. Um, because you're not really missing out on much. A lot of people are unhappy. And if you can figure out how to be happy in whatever so, sort of situation you're in, then you are a beast, especially if you know how to be happy and content when you are by yourself. It is by far the most peaceful, uh, self-assuring thing in the world to be able to know that I can sit by myself at home and stare at the roof and be perfectly happy. Why do I know that? Because I've done it on multiple occasions where I didn't feel like watching TV, didn't feel like listening to, oh, you can't see my hands. Didn't feel like watching TV, didn't feel like listening to music, didn't feel like scrolling on social media, 
kind of got tired of the lights for my phone being flashed in my face. Um, so I kind of want to give my brain a break. I don't feel like taking a nap. So what am I going to do? Stare at the roof. No joke. Or meditate. One of those things. Regardless, I am capable of sitting down and doing nothing and being extremely content. So with that, let's get into the reasons why I prefer to be a loner and why you might want to consider it too. That's actually the first reason. There's a self-reliancy aspect to it that is amazing. And a big reason why I'm capable of doing this is because growing up, uh, I'm an only child, so I spent the majority of my time alone and I figured out how to entertain myself when my parents aren't around and I don't feel like going with them somewhere. Uh, I didn't have that many friends that like I hung out with in middle school uh, and high school really. So I spent a lot of time alone, especially on the weekends and I would just be chilling, figuring out how to entertain myself, mainly playing video games. But now that I don't play video games, it's just a bunch of other stuff. Regardless, I am fully capable of taking care of myself and being content by myself, which is amazing because a lot of people, the second they start getting by themselves, uh, the reason people don't like being by themselves and don't like being in silence is because they're afraid of their own personal thoughts. They don't want to deal with this demon in here. I have sat down and looked at that demon, just, just your ego, like it's not even real. I've sat down and looked at that demon multiple times and eventually I kind of just like, just, you know, just gave him a little hug and was like, yeah, shut the fuck up. Stop it. Oh, I can't curse on here. <sighs> I was like, shut up, dude. Come on, bring it in. And now I'm just like, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I meditate a lot. I read books. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, educational ones and some stupid ones. Uh, and that's basically like, I can kill a whole like week at the crib. And I'm pretty sure I've done that a couple of times this year already. And it is only March. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done it more than a couple of times, but uh, let's just go ahead and get into the next reason. The next reason is that you are able to get so much done. Um, a lot of times, the biggest distraction that you can be in your life when it is when you're trying to accomplish your goals is other people. I know this because I noticed that I started becoming way more productive when I stopped hanging out with my friends back when I got into like senior year. I think is when I stopped talking to a lot of them. Um, it was either junior or senior year where. Uh, I stopped talking to them as often and then eventually I cut them off completely. Uh, but when I stopped talking to a lot of those people, I noticed that because I wasn't hanging out with them, every time someone would ask me to hang out, I would say no because I wanted to get stuff done. And I became extremely, extremely productive. They were, there were no distractions. Obviously, people are still gonna hit me up now because I'm starting to make different friends. And uh, because they're positive influences, I'm going to make time to hang out with them, stuff like that. Uh, but during the week, there's literally no distractions. All of them are busy and I'm busy as well. And because I do work from home, like I'm an online based business uh, marketer dude, then I can chill at home for hours on end and get work done. I have no commute time. Um, I can be an introvert, chill at home, be a loner, roam around the city, discover new things. And that is why uh, I'm able to be so productive, which leads to the next thing is that you become significantly more confident. So because you're constantly roaming the city by yourself, because you kind of want to explore different stuff sometimes, you you start to get a sort of self-confidence about yourself that not a lot of people have. A lot of people base their confidence around the people that surround them. They base their confidence on other people. I don't have other people to base my confidence off of. So I have to put it like it has to all come from here. There have been multiple occasions where like I'll be busy and I'll be roaming somewhere and I don't have that much time on my hands, so I'll just sit and eat in a restaurant by myself. I'll work in a restaurant by myself. I'll go to random coffee shops. I mean, that's kind of normal nowadays. What the fuck, I'm burping, sorry. I'm not editing that out. Uh, you guys should know by now that whenever I start talking a lot, I burp. So, uh, coffee shops are pretty normal now. Uh, everyone's working inside of them. Majority of people show up there by themselves. Uh, but there were times where like I would show up to diners 
that were like, if you show up to a diner in the afternoon, this is a little hack, but if you show up to a diner in the afternoon, normally they are empty, they have Wi-Fi, they have outlets, and as long as you get to sit there and buy food, they will let you sit there for a very long time to get work done. I've done this on numerous occasions and it is awesome. Fantastic place to work because there's food there and you don't have to get up and leave to go get food. It's amazing. The next thing is that you spend more time being appreciative of the time that you do spend with other people. You're a lot more present because you aren't spending that much time with them. So when you are with the people in your life and you are spending time with them, you tend to be much more there. You are not on your phone. You are making direct eye contact. Uh, you're focusing on them. You're taking everything in. You want to catch up, see what they've been up to, see what they're like, figure out everything that's going on because you know you are not going to see them for like a week or two because you are going to want to sit at home and not interact with anyone. This is just the reality. And because of that, you are able to build much more stronger relationships with other people. A lot of people assume that if you are a loner, if you are someone who prefers to spend time alone majority of the time, then that means you don't have high quality friendships, very in-depth friendships, but in reality you do. It, you just don't have a lot of them. Um, and, be, and that's because you don't have that much time on your hands to spend with all of them. So you end up going very deep pause with a very few amount of people which I personally prefer that's just me though and they tend to love it as well a lot of people assume that if you're a loner and you're an introvert then you don't have social skills as well but I'm sure you have an introvert or loner friend who can definitely sit there and hold a conversation and a lot of times they're the kind of people who and I do not mean to stroke my own ego on this, but whatever. Uh, they tend to be the people who people love talking to the most because you are the one that sits down and actually listens to them instead of waiting for your own turn to talk. It's just the reality of the world that we live in and introverts being the quiet, reserved, non-talkative people that they are tend to be the quiet ones who have a wealth of information and are capable of sitting down and asking you multiple questions that get you to go in depth with what it is that you have going on and the stuff that you are interested in as well. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. Loner life is amazing. If you are about that loner life, leave hashtag loner life down below. Let me know your experience with having loner friends or being a loner yourself or introvert, whatever it is. I'd rather take the word loner back myself. F freak it. Man, I can't curse. This is this is a struggle, guys. Uh, so uh, go ahead and leave a hashtag loner life below. Let me know if you bought that life. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you made it all the way to the end. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell. Like the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.